Luton, Rotherham and Stevenage are all projected to do poorly in the first season of Football Manager 2024. Luton are projected to finish in 19th, Rotherham are predicted to finish in 24th and Stevenage are projected to finish in 17th. In this video I'm going to look at a plug and play tactic and test it out with all three teams as we look to see if the tactic can help them all beat the drop. So Nap is known as one of the very best tactics creators for Football Manager 2024 and in today's video I'm going to take another one of his tactics I'm going to put it through its paces in the hands of Luton, Stevenage and Rotherham to see how his tactics will get on when they are run with underdog teams. Now as always if you want to get straight into this one there will be a link to this tactic in the description down below feel free to go and download it but if you do don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel just to say thank you if you've been here before you'll know that we're going to break this tactic down and then we're going to get into some results if you want to jump forwards to the results feel free to do so but if you're here for the long haul let's break this tactic down and show you what it is today's tactic is the argus nap Pep 3 2 4 1, and as you can see, it's set up to cause a bit of chaos. With only three at the back, five in the final third of the pitch, you're either going to score a load of goals or concede a load of goals. And I got a feeling that it's going to cause chaos everywhere. But let's break this tactic down for you. Starting off with the sweeper keeper that is set to support, you'll have three ball playing defenders all set to defend. You'll have a defensive midfielder set to support, a Segundo Volante set to attack, a left winger set to support, a shadow striker set to attack, an attacking midfielder set to support, and a right winger set to support. And at the top of the pitch, you'll have an advance forward set to attack. This comes with Nap's custom Tiki Taka tactical style. Its mentality is attacking. It's in possession will look like this. It's in transition will look like this. And it's out of possession will look like this. So you've had a breakdown of the tactic. You know we're going to be looking at Luton, Rotherham and Stevenage. Let's have a look at some results and find out how it gets on in the hands of our underdogs. Let's kick off the results by looking at Luton first. And we're going to see that they are just about clinging on to their Premier League status. They would finish in 17th place, only collecting 33 points from 38 games. And they would have a minus 36 goal difference. We'll come back to the Premier League in just a minute. First, let's look at the FA Cup. They would get through to the fourth round where they would be knocked out by Reading. And in the Carabao Cup, they would be knocked out by Arsenal. So back to the Premier League then and let's see what happened to Luton. So they would play in 38 games. They would only win nine. They would draw six. They would lose 23 times having a minus 36 goal difference and just about stay in the Premier League by two points with Brighton, Wolves and Sheffield United going down. Looking at some of the stats on the screen here, nothing in terms of goals, average ratings, assists, but they did lead the way in terms of yellow cards with Nakama getting 14, Anderson getting 13 and Lockyer getting 11. If we go into the squad then to have a look at how they got on in terms of the numbers there. So top goal scorer was Chong with 11 and he had 7 assists. You had Jacob Brown with 9 goals and 2 assists. Ross Barkley with 8 goals and 3 assists. Ogbeni would get 6 goals and 7 assists. Ryan Giles 5 goals and 9 assists. And further on down there would be 5 assists and 2 goals for Marvellous Nakamba. If we look at some of the data hub numbers to see how they got on. Defending really wasn't their forte with 2.37 conceded per game, 2.06 XG per game. Only kept cl six clean sheets across the season, but they would have a good possession one number with 3,564. In terms of the attacking, goals per game 1.42, non-penalty XG 1.58, shots per game 12.55, and a good pass completion ratio with 87.2. All in all, though, a disappointing season for Luton, just about clinging on to their Premier League status and not doing very well in the domestic cups either. 
Next up, we will be looking at Rotherham in the Skybet Championship, and we find them in 8th place in the Championship. They would get 74 points from 46 games and have a 23-goal difference. In the FA Cup, they would get knocked out in the third round by Manchester City, and in the Carabao Cup, they would get knocked out in the second round by Norwich City. Looking at the Championship in a bit more detail, if we go to the league table, we see that Rotherham would play 46 games, they would win 23, draw 5, lose 18, have that 23 goal difference, and they would pick up 74 points. Now that isn't too bad considering that Hull got into the playoffs and they finished on 77 points. So a few more wins here and there, they might have actually been pushing for a playoff place. Looking at some player stats, you had Jordan Hugill get 25 goals, Andre Green would finish as top assister in the league with 13, and once again they would lead the yellow cards with Humphreys getting 16 yellow cards. If we go to the squad to look at some of the numbers there. So Hugh Gill gets 26 goals and 3 assists. Cafu 14 goals and 6 assists. Rathbone 9 goals and 11 assists. Andre Green would get those 13 assists and 7 goals. Further down you would have Apaya with 13 assists and 5 goals. And then you would also have... Christ Tierhe, he would get nine assists and three goals. If we look at the data hub, at some of the numbers there, so in terms of the team defending, uh, 1.78 conceded per game, 1.73 expected goals against per game. Again, possession one, 4,502, and they would have a position passes per defensive action, 3.72. Looking at some of the attacking numbers, you've got goals per game, 2.28. Non-penalty XG, 2.05. Shots per game, 15.8. Shots on target ratio is 45%. And pass completion ratio of 87.53. So a better season for Rotherham. Finishing in 8th place, not too far outside of the playoff places in terms of the championship. Finally, looking at Skybet League One, and we find that Stevenage have finished in 12th place. They would get 66 points from 46 games and have an 8 goal difference. In the FA Cup, they would be knocked out in the second round by Wrexham. In the Carabao Cup, they would be knocked out in the first round by Gillingham. And in the English Football League trophy, they would get knocked out in the southern section. So into League One and have a look at how they got on across the season. They would play 46 times, win 21 draw three times, have 22 losses, have an eight goal difference and 66 points. To put that into context, they would finish 15 points behind Bolton, who would finish in sixth place in the playoffs. Looking at some stats for the players, Jamie Reid would be the top goal scorer with 23 goals for the club. Harry Anderson would finish with a 7.20 average rating. Uh, in terms of assists, Anderson would get 12 of those. And once again, they would lead the way in terms of yellow cards with Finley Byrne getting 16 and Nathan Thompson getting 12 yellow cards there. If we go into the squad to look at some numbers, so top goal scorer would be Reid with 26 goals and 3 assists. Harry Anderson, 14 goals and 14 assists. Freeman, 12 goals and 7 assists. Further down, Elliot List would get 11 assists and 3 assists goals. Go into the data hub to look at some of the numbers. In terms of the defending, goals conceded per game was 2.09. Expected goals against per game was 1.79. Only four clean sheets out of 46 league games. Possession one was impressive with 4,290 times. Looking at the attacking, goals scored per game 2.26. Non-penalty XG 1.89. 15 shots per game and a pass completion of 87.45. So I think it's probably right when I said earlier on this tactic would cause chaos both in defence and attack and it means that Luton have just held on to their Premier League status. You have had Rotherham finishing middle of the pack in the Championship and Stevenage doing likewise in League One. So a bit of a crazy tactic, probably not one that you would want to use with underdog teams.